Hey guys, Smooth Comics here, back at with another video. Today I want to talk about why you must keep evolving as an artist. You have to keep in mind your audience. How old are they? What are they like now? Things are constantly changing over time. Just because something is popular now, doesn't mean it's going to be popular in the future. You have to plan ahead of time. If you're making something for kids and your audience is young, how are they going to behave when they're older? Like a lot of artists, a lot of creators will plan ahead of time. Look at Ben 10. Ben, ben 10 started off as just Ben 10. But then you have the sequel series where Ben 10 is older. And when it's older, Ben acts a bit different. People knew ahead of time that people are going to latch on to the kid version of Ben 10, where he's just getting his powers, he's just learning how to do things. But eventually that's going to get old. As the audience is, is aging, they're going to want something else. Then the creators being smart planned ahead of time for Ben to grow older and, and get more mature over time. And then we're going to focus on different arcs afterward. You have to plan things ahead. Another thing is to question your audience. Ask them, hey, what do you guys like? Hey, if they like you, what other things do they like besides you? I mean, look at a good example is UFC. UFC is intended for fight fans, people who love fighting, who love action, largely young males in their late teens or 20s. They like fighting, they like action, they like action movies. So what did they do? They went to Spike TV. When, when UFC first got popular, they went to Spike TV to market themselves. That's how the UFC got so popular. As it continued to expand, they would also do special events like Fight Fridays. Like, like they would add free fights into on their YouTube channel. They would like, you have to get to know your audience, figure out what they're all about. And then when you figure that out, you can start predicting what they're gonna want and plan according, plan accordingly. Another thing to note is changes in technology. Just because right now everything's digital, but it might not always be like that. There's been talks about a resurgence of physical media is going on right now. Physical media is coming back. And I plan on making physical editions of Switch to Gender Ninja, which can be bought on the channel, on the channel site. And future in the future, we're probably going to get our own website. You know, have employees at that point. And then you can buy them there. And then I can add a membership where you can get the physical things half off or 15% off. See, you're planning ahead of time because you know that things are going to change in the future. You also, you have to plan ahead of time, knowing that thing everything's going to change eventually. You have to have an answer for that. Just make sure you're planning ahead. Know your audience, predict your audience. That's why I always put YouTube polls on, hey, you guys like this? Do you guys want me to add music in the background? You guys, you have to keep evolving in order to stay relevant. Look at what happened to, to Blockbuster. Blockbuster went out of business because it refused to change. It was stuck and stubborn in his ways. Everything was moving to digital media. They refused to change our physical media. They, like, Redbox was popping up. They had Netflix popping up. All these other things. And Red huh? and uh, Blockbuster just refused to change. And they went out of business. But you know what? There's people who specialize in predicting the changes of media. Predicting changes changes in digital media and they plan their entire business ahead of time because they know this is going to happen in the future 
and they and I need to have a plan for it. And the plan worked because they thought it out. You should get to know your audience. Ask them, ask them, like create polls. If you're a YouTuber, create polls, ask about your audience. What other things do they like besides me? And maybe you can emulate some of your competition. I, I mean, not exactly. I found out on my other channel, a lot of people compared me to the to Young Defiant. Hmm, how could I be a little bit like Young Defiant, but still different? And I added, add an animated intro and add a, some background music in the background because he's really good at ranting but no my rants really aren't that special without music so I just, just decided okay add the music in the background that's one thing that can make me similar but set apart from him so just predict your audience get to know your audience uh, figure out what other things they like predict how they're going to change when they're older find out their age range Keep evolving as an artist and ask if you're doing anything right or wrong because if you notice if they tell you that they're good at, if you're really good at one thing focus more on the things you're good at and improve them focus more on your strengths than your flaws you should focus on your shaw on your flaws but focus on your strengths more because the strengths will always outweigh the flaws if you're really dedicated to your work anyway Subscribe for the full comic. See you guys later.